The 7 Star Samurai Terror event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, I'm going to go over all the steps to show you how you can get this exclusive Pokemon Shiny in your game. The 7 Star Samurai event is running from the 31st of March till the 2nd of April. And don't worry if you missed it the first time around, it will be returning from the 7th of April until the 9th. To access event in your game, go into your Poke Portal, head down to your Mystery Gifts and check Poke Portal News. Once you have connected to the internet you will now have access to this terror raid event in game simply open your map and look for the bug terror type raid event and head out to it if you want a simple way to beat the seven star samurai in game you can check out the two builds we already have on the channel featuring a cloister build and a taurus build or you can use this annihilate build that we've got here make sure the annihilate has a shell bell item attached to it with the ghost terror typing its moveset is rage fist screech drain punch and bulk up with an EV spread of 252 HP and 252 attack with 4 in defense. Make sure it has the defined ability and an adamant nature and is set to level 100. In the raid, screech for the first two turns and then just spam a rage fist after this for the rest of the raid until you are successful in beating the Samurott. You may faint a couple of times throughout this process, but make sure when you do terrestrialize, you have near to full HP and this raid will be a breeze for Annihilate to run through. Once you've defeated the Samurai, this is the first important step. Make sure you catch it in whatever special Pokeball you eventually want your Shiny to have. For us, we've chosen the lure ball and just make sure for this step, whatever ball you do catch the Samurai in is the Pokeball that will be passed down to the ones you end up breeding. As this seven star raid event is the only way to currently get Samurai in Scarlet and Violet, and as this raid event is shiny lock, the only option to get a shiny Oshiwot in our games is through breeding. To increase your chances of getting a shiny, it's advisable to use the Masuda method. For this, you will need a foreign ditto to breed with your Samurai. You can use the universal trade code of 448448 to trade a ditto you caught in your games with someone else from around the world to get a foreign ditto. Or you can just use a ditto that you've caught in your games to do this if you prefer not to trade online. But the Masuda method increases your odds of getting a shiny to 1 in 683 rather than your standard 1 in 4096. Once you have your Ditto and Samurai in your party, make sure to attach a Destiny Knot item to one of your Pokemon to ensure the perfect IVs from your caught Samurai are passed down to the baby Pokemon. Next thing, set up a picnic. The first thing you want to do is to make a sandwich to increase the number of eggs that will appear in your picnic basket. You can do this by making a sandwich that gives you a specific egg power. The sandwich I like to use for this method is six noodles and one sweet Herba Mystica, which gives you an egg power level three. If you don't have any sweet Herba Mystica spare, you can always get an egg power level two easily by heading to Alfrenada Town and going to this restaurant and buying this dish, which will give you the egg power level two for a much lower price and also no use of Herba Mystica. Now, once you have your egg power level two or three set up, you wanna just wait for your basket to produce eggs. Times can vary, but with egg power level two or three active for 30 minutes after eating the dish from the restaurant or making your sandwich, this process will be sped up. Just make sure to check your basket regularly to collect the eggs. Once you have enough of them in your boxes, the next step is to start hatching them. Make sure you have a flame body ability Pokemon in your party. Something like Talonflame like I'm using works great. Although there are many different Pokemon that get this ability which you can use. Once you have your flame body Pokemon in your party, make sure to put all the eggs into your party as well and head out around the area and just walk until they hatch one by one. I recently did a shiny Zora hunt here on the channel and it took me 639 eggs to get the shiny. But fortunately, I was really lucky with this hunt getting the shiny Oshawott. As you can see here, it looks amazing in only 49 eggs, which made this hunt even better. And there we go. We have one of our favorite starter Pokemon in its shiny form and although it can be a lengthy process with Pokemon Home still not linked up with Scarlet and Violet yet this is the only way to get this shiny Pokemon in your games. Hopefully these steps in this video are helpful and you have a lot of success getting this shiny Pokemon in your own games. If you found today's video helpful please drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thanks for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day until next time take care and bye bye.